Happy New Year everyone! Today we're gonna continue what we did in Google Gemini Multimodal Prompt Request in the last video. Okay, let's go ahead. Since we're using Gemini Pro Vision, Vision here means basically images and videos processing model. Now we're going to test interactive chat from. So we will use Gemini Pro only model. Okay, let's try it. Gemini Pro. Then Gemini Pro only. Okay, let's try this model with the current ABI. Uh, before that, we need to authenticate ourselves. Okay, then let's try to run the application and okay, send our file again this image uh, with the question. Then we're going to send it again. Okay, we got an internal error. It's about invalid arguments. So, image and video present in the request a non vision model. So this model is non-vision model, right? Non-vision model. For images and video processing, we need Gemini Raw Vision. And for chats, we will going to create another, we'll, another model, Gemini Raw. And I would name it Gemini Raw Generative Model. And Gemini raw vision generated model. Okay, and now we are going to have two bin generated model. Then we have to specify what exactly we want to or to why. For example, here we would like to auto wide it into the construction a construct start. So because we have now we're going to have two bins and that's why we have two qualifier uh the Gemini provision here. Okay, so we don't need this one because now we manually create the constructor for us to auto Y the exact bin that we want to, you know, to use the Gemini Provision bin. Okay, let's try to run it again. And I hope it's going to work now. Okay, so it's go as before. So now we are going to have the Gemini Provision and the Gemini Raw only for chat in, for interactive chat. Okay, so now we need to create a chat session. Okay, so in order to create an interactive chat, we are going to create a chat session. And the chat session is depends on the generative model. And from that chat session, we can start sending an interactive chat. For example, we send hello, and we send what are the color and rainbows. So the context of hello and what are all the colors in the rainbow will be stored and also will be used to answer the question. The, the third question, right? Okay, let's go into create our just session. Okay, let's create another bin here. <laughs> Public just section. And the model will be the Gemini Pro only. So, qualifier. I would like to see Gemini Raw only. Generative model. Generative model. And this one is going to be here. And we're going to write a bin as well for chat session. After that, we're going to write a chat controller, for example. Then 
Let's control alert, final session. For the sake of simplicity, we're going to create a get. Get mapping, chat session, dot send message, text. Okay. Since only have one bin for chat session, so we can use the requirement long box here to generate a constructor for it. Okay. Uh, okay. So let's try to send a chat. Going to stop rerun here. Okay, then I'm going to local host eighteen eighteen chat one plus one equal equal two, and I'm going to ask another question like. As one to the last result. So we have three. All right. Then I'm going to open uh, Econipo and also localhost ATAT chat as one to the last result. Right, so for example, this is another user. So we know that the context is skip for our con conversation. Then, so we so it is going to return for right because now you know all the user. From you know, from this Econito browser or you know, from browser using the same uh, using the same context. That's why we need to separate them. And okay, so that's why in screen we have uh, section scope. So we I'm going to add an annotation section scope here. And the section scope is going to create a new chat session bin for each session. And with that, it's enough. Okay, and then I'm going to stop and return. Okay, then start again. Okay, for example. Okay, for two call. Civil and one gigabyte main machines number thread is around four and six thread uh, blah 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 okay and another one uh so now we going to sorry now we're going to one so I would like to add another thing that related to the last question to give me the link of the resources so it's answer a uh, weird link uh, I don't even know right because there they know context it's a new section and this section is you know different from the section of the main my main browser okay then for example I will copy this one and run again local host AT AT chat okay and in here I'd like to send give me the links of the resources you used and we're going to have sort of scalable thread pool how many threads should be in the thread pool for example optimizing threads pool and it's exactly what we're going to you know what we already asked in the last question of this browser Okay. There is work expected. Another thing is we would like to show the whole history of our conversation. So we are going to call guest history and we are going to show the content of the history. For example, we will send the text, right? We get the response, but now we are going to to give back 
the history. So it's going to be a history text. Okay, let's restart application. And this time, let's copy my question here, for example. And local hot 8080 history path variable, right? Uh, here, then send it. Okay, so it's going to show that, you know, this is our question and this is the answer from Google Gemini Pro. And we also have the cookie here. And we also send the cookie for the next. Send the cookie for the next request. So it's going to use the same section. Then let's copy the second question that give me the resources. Okay, now let's send. Okay, then it's going to send it with the cookie. Then going to use the same section. Okay, so now we're going to see the the whole section. Actually, the whole context of the of our conversation. So, how many uh, threads in the thread pool? And give me the link of the resources. Okay, we will end this video here. Thank you so much for taking your time watching this video and the series. Hope you can learn something new here and see you in the next video. Happy coding!